Hello everybody, my name is Ian and this is Canoe Club Staff Picks for the month of July. Um, and before we get right into it, I wanted to say we get a lot of our new fall items starting in July and through August, you know, that kind of tail end of the summer. And so I know that maybe not all of these outfits are July oriented, but they are our favorite pieces in the store, especially trying to include newer items. But yeah, so basically just your favorite things in the store, make an outfit from them, um, and let's just get right into mine. And so for the pants, I've got the Nigel K. Bourne British Army Pants. This is one of the items that's actually on sale in my outfit today. Um, this is, uh, I think, 30% off online. There should be one more pair out there. They're really heavy, big, wide army pants. I love the giant pocket right here on the thigh. Another one right here. Cool pocket placement. I'm gonna be wearing them with these big cuffs in them as well. And yeah, just a nice wide pant. I've been really into that kind of look lately where it's kind of a little high waisted and big wide legs and then you wear it with like a nice boot and I just think that looks pretty cool. So um, that was for pants. We'll go down to the boots because I mentioned that you like I like to wear boots with like a big wide pant. Um, this is the MIP 26 and this is modeled after like a duck boot as you can see with the classic toes here. Nice heavy duty sole on these as well. Obviously that classic natural um, Henderskeen patine leather. And I always like to wear my boots with the laces really loose. And sometimes I do them untied if the lace is short enough. And so that's how I'll be wearing these today. Just like this, easy to slip on and off. And it just gives it, I think it gives it a really cool um, kind of nonchalant baggy look to it. All right, and now going up top, um, I will be wearing my lady white bone or natural color t-shirt um, also with these mascots as well and over top of the t-shirt i'll be wearing the new flannel from engineered garments it came in two colors this is the lighter of the two the other is a bit more of a darker like mossier green well, what i really like about this is the oranges and the purples um, it's kind of like a little bit of like hunter like woodsy vibes but still you know not like overly hunterish it still is really nice and still you could wear this with plenty of other things but yeah simple just open flannel over a t-shirt um, the green kind of works with the green in the pants and I thought the oranges worked well with the uh, natural leather in the shoe and it's super super soft and it's actually really nice uh, heavyweight too so I, like I said it'll be really good for the winter maybe just not July and last item I already mentioned my mascots as my accessory this was the Hender scheme pig jet cap in, um, I think they call this khaki brown. I just really love the nice suede on the bill, or I mean on the entire hat here. Uh, and I kind of like how it changes with like how you touch it. It just really looks like a really nice quality hat. Uh, the suede is high quality and you know, Hender Scheme, everything they do is so clean and it just looks good. Um, and so let's put it all on together, see what we got. All right, hey guys, we are back. I am here with my staff picks for the month of July. Uh, as Ian mentioned, we're dressing more towards like what we have, not so much for how ridiculously hot it is outside. So this might be a little weird, but like, you know, if you work indoors and you have air conditioning, you can rock this. If you're living, if your house has air conditioning, you could rock this. If you don't live anywhere near like the middle, or the southern half of the continental United States, you could probably rock this, but right now it's miserably hot. Anyway, I'll get to the kit. It's all engineered garments, big surprise there. My personal favorite brand in the store. So I really like leaned into this one. It's very much like an EG kit. I don't think that you're gonna be like, wow, I've never seen a style like that. 
but it's definitely like everything is sick. So the first I'd like to point out this season, all the proportions are great. Nothing is like too big or too baggy or too slim. I think that this is like a sweet spot, like they really found it. But yeah, let me just hop right into it. I'm gonna start from my uh, like top down. I'll, I'll leave the hat for last. But on top, I've got this beautiful loiter. Not, not terribly heavy weight, a little bit of wool material. The sleeves right now are lined. Um, it's sweet. My thing with loiters is I feel like sometimes they're not like the, the baggiest thing in the collection, but this one's sweet. Falls off the shoulders nice, buttoned or open, kind of like lays drapey and cool on your body. So like if you're gonna wear a work shirt underneath like I am, you still get plenty of play in like the volume of the piece itself. So loiter up top. And then to play te texturally, I got this work shirt. It's like this cotton that has like a nice texture to it. Definitely on the heavier side, um, coming out of spring obviously, going into the fall collection. You can definitely tell, definitely on the heavier side, but I chose these two because I know I'm gonna get the cool proportions with this gusset here, and the two different grays will work nicely. It'll be like less of like contrast via color and more just through texture, which I think is cool. Down low are the herringbone twill fatigues in olive. I get a pair of EG fatigues every season, if not two. I got the black ones. These are hot, I'll probably get these too, but maybe like the best iteration of a fatigue in the last couple seasons. Fit, fabric, just like everything on it is absolutely stellar. Um, the texture in this herringbone like shows through in light too, which is cool. So it's definitely, uh, it's like noticeable. It's not just like an olive fabric, not just like a standard cotton. Down low, I had to do just the regular Burks. I thought this would look nice because as you can see, I did a red beanie up top. I wanted brown shoes so like it wasn't just like a black outfit with brown shoes or a black outfit with a red hat, you know what I'm saying? Like they kind of work together. So I got these Burks down low. And then up top, the highlight of the outfit uh, are these beanies from EG. So we did them last year. Any YouTube video in the last like eight months where I'm wearing a beanie is an engineered garments beanie. We went really deep in every color. This is like, I can't recommend it enough. If you wear beanies and you're weird like me, like I feel safe in them, I like to have them on, I'll get one in every color. But yeah, so that's that. Proportions at play here. Nice texturally, heavier than you'd wear probably right this moment, but as I discussed, there are a lot of ways to work around that. So uh, yeah, let me put it on. So for my flavor of the month, um, I decided to go with something that, you know, it speaks to me as far as like kind of what I wear, but just new pieces that like obviously are going to be good in any rotation, which I think is extremely important. So we'll start from back to front. Uh, so the back, as you can see this invisible hanger. Uh, I went with these EG pants, they're almost like fatigues in a way, but you know they have a different style pockets and these double knee, you know, little panels in the front which I think are a really nice piece to kind of give you a different direction of what we kind of see on a day to day basis. So I chose that for the bottom. For the shirt, I went with this incredible Samuel Seelig button up with the, you know, has like face embroidery all over it. But just this dye, it's kind of almost like an indigo dye with a little bit of texture to it. It's incredible. You know, I think it's good for summer and fall kind of all year. So I think having something like this is extremely important because it adds for a good rotation throughout the year. You're not going to put it away when it gets a little warm. You're not going to feel like it's too cold to wear something like this so I felt like this is extremely incredible and the details are just insane so I went with that for the bottom for a little added top bonus I went with this Viswam contrary department vest 
it feels like a pillow, so you can't go wrong with it. And not everybody's a bath guy, but I am, so I feel like it was extremely important to incorporate this in the in the wardrobe. And I feel like it just looks amazing with everything. So I went with this for the pieces, the piece, the upper piece. Obviously, you know, you got a few details on it that just add for a little bit of extra like eye-catching ability, if you want to call it. So I went with that, and then we couldn't get this beautiful new piece in here. So the Ebbetsfield Canoe Club cap. I've always been a big fan of Ebbetsfields. They fit incredible. They just look really good and you know, it gets to that time of year you wanna throw a hat on here and there. I think this is like a perfect option, especially black with the green brindle on the bottom. It's pretty traditional. So I went with that for a little added piece. For the bottoms, you also can't go wrong with them. You can't go wrong with any of this stuff, but a Birkenstock Boston with a little gold buckle detail. As for a little pizzazz, you know, if you want to show off a little bit. So I went with that for the bottom and, you know, you can't have a bit without me with a little, without a little extra accessory. So we went with the Hinder Scheme wallet for that one. And you know, that's the fit. And we're gonna throw it on and see what it looks like in real life. Cause that's what I'm here for. Show off for you a little bit. So let's get into it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, um, we love doing this stuff for you. It's kind of like, like we're like putting our outfits together before the first day of school. Um, so I appreciate you guys watching and commenting and interacting. Um, we love the support. We love you all, and um, hope the rest of your summer is great. And have a good one.